Hello guys, this is Chirodi. This is the first part of the Code Java tutorial video section. Today I am gonna show you how you can create your first Java program. So to do that, you have to first download the JDK platform. So you can download uh, from the internet also. And I have already selected the page from which you can download JDK so go to that page and you can see that uh, this is the main page of Oracle and you can download the JDK version 7 from here JD is not needed uh, for the first time so you can download JDK and I have already downloaded JDK and you can see in my C drive I have already downloaded JDK in the Java program that is the JDK 1.7 I have downloaded and here in the bin folder you can uh, every software's installation bringing some binary files and keeping it into the bin folder so all the binary files will be there in the bin folder and these are the all the necessary files to run your Java program okay so and one more important part is here uh, you have to set your environment variables that is to run your java program from anywhere from your computer actually you see if you just save your dot java file in here in specifically in the bean folder then you can run it from the bean folder itself but uh, this is not the uh, industrialized standard so to do that you have to set your environmental variables from my computer you can select your environment variables and from there you can just go to system and you can see the advanced tab in here the environment variables is present now the thing is you can I have see I have already created my environment variable variable name is Java and the variable value is C program files Java JDK and bin folder that is you have to select the bin folder where uh, you can just uh, the Java virtual machine can search uh, all the necessary binary files to run your program actually so that is the main thing uh, uh, that is the first part and second part which I have shown you and you have to just do this to run your Java program okay so now back uh, into the Java program section now we will run a Java program now I will write a simple Java program and you will see what is the output and how to run it so before that uh, I have defined one class that is public class A and here you can define I will tell you everything in detail ok just have patience hello world now now you can save it the file in your whatever uh, location you want to save uh, because we have already set it our environment variable path so now we're gonna save it to my C drive okay now I have named uh, a Java a folder I have created and I will tell you about the class file now here we will save in C Java Java file we will be saving our first program so our class name is A so A.Java and I will be saving it like this ok so our program A.Java is saved into the specific folder now we will be coming back to command prompt now this step is very crucial friends you have to just uh, go through this step 
and for this uh, I will show you two kind of possibilities or two kind of approach to run your Java program first I will show you the general approach okay now you have to locate your Java folder that is the this for this program okay we have saved it into the C Java and Java file so the location is like this so you have to locate your Java file now we will be changing our location to this let me copy and we will be testing here so the location has been changed now let's compile our first java program if the compilation is success friends then there will be a next line and you can see that there is a a dot class that is the class file that you have generated from your program and this class file will run and give you the desired output so to run this class file we have to just enter java e that is to run and you can see the print is hello world so your program has been run successfully now the second approach is I will delete this a dot class file and I will just show you one more thing I have created one new folder that is the name of the folder is class file you can see and here it is empty okay so as per the industry standards you have to store your class files in the class file folder and the java files in your java file folder for each and every class we have to store the class files into the class file folder because see uh, if we store the class files and java files both in the same folder then there might be a problem to handle all the files and all the class files so to do that you have to just store your java file into the java file folder and you have to store your class file into the class file folder and you can create your class file directly from the command prompt so to do that it, you have to java c hash the option is for directory change dot dot sorry and specifically coming back to the parent directory that is c dot java and changing it to the what is the our file name class file okay so what is now this and a dot java now you will see our compilation is very success and we will be automatically converting our class file to this class file folder see it is now generated a dot class now we can run this from changing the directory cd to class file sorry we have to come back sorry sir. now we are in the class file now we can run the java file see this is the output we are talking about so this is our first section uh, the introduction part hope you like it thanks for watching my tutorial see you next time